Okay, so one of the most commonly used colorants for epoxy is mica powder. So mica is a natural stone that yields when you crush it up and grind it up, that shimmery different colors. And it's available in a powder form. These are five gram. We also do 15 grams and the larger 50 grams. And it comes in a rainbow of colors. So this is something, if you like that metallic sparkle, you wanna choose from a rainbow of different colors. You wanna see those big swirls in the epoxy. It's not all one solid color. It's got a lot of swirls and that metallic shimmer to it. Then mica powder is the way to go. People ask a lot of times, how much mica powder do I use? A uh, good rule of thumb is about five grams, which is these small bags here per kit. And uh, most of the epoxy we sell in a one and a half gallon kit. So you're gonna use five grams for a one and a half gallon kit. Not to say some people use less, some people use more. Uh, but it's a good idea when you have it in the bucket and you're mixing it up, it's in that dark bucket, you really can't see uh, you know, what that looks like. Take a plastic cup and lift it up, hold it up to the light and see. But usually somewhere around five grams will be that sweet spot for what you're gonna need for the mica powder. So a little bit goes a long way. Also, people talk online about all these different things, putting spray paint in their epoxy, this and that. Remember, whatever you add to epoxy will technically weaken it. So these are true tested colorants for epoxy. They're made for dumping into epoxy and coloring epoxy. And as long as you don't go more than 5% of a colorant, you're not gonna weaken it too much where you're gonna notice, but there are some things that will react with epoxy. So the colorants are really the cheap thing of the equation. So I wouldn't skimp on the colorants here because it's, it's really the, the cheapest part of the whole project you're gonna do is your epoxy colorant. So buy something that's made for epoxy. Like I said, these are mica powders, whole rainbow of colors. You're gonna get a bunch of swirls. We have a walnut table over here that uh, we did show for our showroom. You're gonna see some of these swirls here. Now, every time you pour it, you're gonna get different swirl patterns. It's uh, caused from the exothermic reaction when that, that chemical reaction kicks off and those molecules of that polymer start to bind, they create heat. The more you pour at once, as far as thickness, the more heat, the more big swirls. So the wise bond you can pour two, two and a half inches thick, you'll get more heat and that epoxy can handle it and it'll give you bigger swirls. So as you can see with this walnut table, the mica powder is a little bit dulled down and that's from the Rubio Monaco oil that was over it. And any oil finish is really gonna dull down your mica powder. So you wanna sand that to a higher grit to try to shine through some of that mica. Now, if you really wanna show off that mica, you can try going over it with a clear coat, uh, something more like this bar and tabletop epoxy. That's the Wise Bond Bar and Tabletop. And you can also see that you get a little bit more shimmer out of that mica powder when it doesn't have an oil finish on top of it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of tips and tricks to show you guys. Now go build something. <laughs>